Good evening. Welcome to the Gary Brodsky Show. We're your host, Gary Brodsky. And uh, we're going to get along good tonight. Got to push buttons here. Okay. Again, I don't know if anybody's watching or not because there's like 17,000 new developments on this broadcaster, but that's okay. Let's talk about a subject that's being talked about all over the place. The sexiness of America. What does that mean? I'll explain it. It means that right now in this time that you're listening to me, there is a gigantic withdrawal from sex. I'm not talking about in the, in the dirty way. Guys are not pursuing sex with women, don't want sex with women, don't want romance, don't want any relationship whatsoever. No ambition, no passion, no drive, and you see them everywhere. Okay? Okay, I'll just say it once. I'm here to help those guys, and if they don't want help, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. But it will destroy this country and get a lot of people killed as well. Yes, make sure my shirt looks good. All right. But you don't see tough guys anymore. You have the thug culture, yes, and you have the complete whim culture. There is no middle class now in being a guy. There is no middle class. You got to be a bit of a rebel. You know what you got to do. You got to speak like a man, talk like a man, act like a man. That seems to be gone. I mean, you wouldn't believe who's reporting that guy's voice into me. But this show is for advice for men who want women, and so be it for those men. Because today, more than any other time in history, there are more lonely women out there than ever. And they have totally given up on the idea of meeting an alpha guy, a bad guy, or a rebel, because that is the kind of guy that women want. Nice guys, they don't even start the game, let alone finish. Bad guys, yeah, because a bad guy, excuse me for fixing up around here, but uh, and I, mean, I don't mean a bad guy or an evil guy or you know, a sadistic guy, no. What I mean is a guy who is willing to stand up for himself. Today, just even smoking on this show, I'm considered a bad guy. I read all the shit they write about me. Some of it is true. But uh, regardless, you know, that voice, everything else, I'll start off for you real simple. I'll make it easy. How do you meet a woman? You act like a man. That combination has been working since the beginning of time. But today in America, at this moment, we have the lowest birth rate, the lowest dating rate, the lowest marriage rate, and um, it's just not a pleasant feeling. And guys, oh, what about sexual harassment? What about this? What about that? Sorry. Yeah, it exists. Fortune favors the bold. During the old times, the old kingdoms, syphilis was a big thing. <laughs> Didn't stop the kings. There's always a risk in everything. And guys are meant and built to take risks. That is a fact. But guys don't want risks anymore. The only risk they'll take is on a goddamn fucking video game. Everyone I know, everyone knows who has kids. I have some, some myself. This is them. They hold it this way now. They're playing a game. Angry Bird, whatever the fuck. You know, I'm starting to learn this shit. It's not good. And that has become their life. It's a setup. Think about this. The 60s and the 70s, the free love generation. Hi, how you doing? Boom. In bed. Now, I bring this up for a reason which I'll get to momentarily. But let's see if there's any questions of me even broadcasting.
Hey, no questions. That's weird. Well, if you want to get questions and you're a new viewer, Gary Brodsky123 at AOL.com. And uh, yeah, I want to get into how this is being done, why it's being done, and the evil behind it. An evil so great that I will try to explain it all tonight. If anybody is watching, that is. Yes, people are watching. Okay, we got a question, then we get to the evil that is here and how to defeat it. All in one night. That's pretty fucking good. Hey, Chris. All right. I've just listened to your Charles Manson audio. Holy shit. Absolutely brilliant. A lot of it seems like common sense. A lot of the secrets are hidden in plain sight. Chris. Chris, thank you. Is that a great audio or what? People are afraid to buy it. You know why? It's not politically correct. It's not nice. It's this. It's that. I get the emails every day. I know. But it works. It works. Hey. But the people want to say that works or want something that's politically correct. This is a big issue here. But let me tell you about this evil out there. I know this is not part of my usual show. And this is not my usual Pepsi. This is my horse. The horse made this solo. Those who know, know what I'm talking about. Those who don't, be glad. There is an entity out there. Many names. So I'm not going to give you a name. But uh, you can figure it out. That feeds off of human suffering, fear, hate, and every negative emotion. It feeds off of it all the time. That's why if you look at history, people always say, you know, history always repeats itself because this thing needs to be fed. It feeds off of fear, hate, anger, vengeance, all the negativity. It feeds off of it. Now, it's a pretty big statement. And it's also a fact. In every culture, there's been horrible torture, death to people, sacrifices, things that make people suffer to feed the spirit. Some people worship the spirit. Some people know how to deal with it. But the fact is that suffering and making other people miserable and making yourself miserable feeds it. And that's why in every biblical and every spiritual leader has said, make yourself happy, make other people happy. You cut this thing off, it will starve to death. So if you're out on a date having fun and laughing, it's not feeding. If you take care of yourself, it's not feeding. If you go, oh, let me fuck this person up for fun, you're feeding it. And it's going to be here forever until its food supply is cut. That's why all governments turn evil, neighbors turn against neighbors, People are not talking to me because I parked in their spot once. I mean, this is this is exactly what this feeds on. But most of all, it feeds on divide and conquer. When it can separate men from women, which is a natural connection. You got a hose, it's got a male end and a female end. You got a plug, it's got a male end and a female end. Baphomet, Satan's number one image is both male and female. Destroying the genders is the agenda. Atheism is their religion, so is this thing caught up here. Yeah. Okay. Atheism is their agenda. So how do you deal with this? You look at what oppresses you and you have to defy it. You have to say, no, I'm going out and getting girls. I go out to win. The winner mentality is going to destroy that thing so fast, you have no idea. All right, Christmas gifts are coming. No, just kidding. Private message. Okay, I will take care of that tomorrow. Thank you. 
Jason, how are you doing? Gary Jason here. What Gary says is so true. When I go out to get women, there is no competition of any kind. And that means there is a serious problem. That is a good supply of guts to stop being weak and get your ass over to Gary's website and get some products to fix your problems once and for all. Thanks, Jason, my most valued friend. Absolutely true. Because guys don't want to learn today. Have you noticed that? No matter what you know, and I know what you know. I was just like, just turning to Donnie Brasco. Hey, I don't know what you know. You know what I know? I don't know what you know. But you know what I know? I know what you know. You don't. Know. Rob De Niro goes right into. But anyway, if you had something to teach somebody, anything, most people don't want to learn anything new. They don't. You know, guys, uh, you know, at the gym, go, hey, you want big arms? I can show you how to get them. No, I, 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 I only want long, lean muscles. Well, first of all, you can have lean muscles and they can be big. But you can't make muscles longer, otherwise you have longer arms. But they don't like logic. Logic is an enemy today. Common sense is not that common. And the GaryBrass.com website is not how like these other guys who can't even call themselves anything. They have websites like, what does a woman like? How do I get a woman to like it? No, what do you like? What do you want? And what do you demand in a woman? Do guys think like that anymore? Hey, fuck no. They don't. Some do. Yeah, the guys who watch the show. So I'm preaching to the choir. Excuse me, I light this up. That would be okay. Um, but no, they don't. Guys don't go out there with that winning mentality. I hope I get a job. No, I'm going to go in that guy. I'm going to tell me I'm a fucking job. What do you think of that? That mentality radiates off you. Everything you think radiates off you. Everything you take radiates off of you. Yeah. Want to do something interesting? Want to see an experiment to show you that I'm not as crazy as you might think I am? If you're in a relationship with a girl. Start taking different vitamins, not anything serious, vitamin D, whatever, and watch how just taking a vitamin, changing your body chemistry just a slight bit is going to cause people to react differently to you. Try not showering for a few days. People are going to react differently to you. People will react to you by what you send out. So, taking care of number one, and I'm not talking about taking a piss, okay, is how you're going to conquer. You think uh, Genghis Khan thought like this would be politically correct, take over like most of the world, you know. Uh, and I learned from these people because they succeeded. So yeah, Charles Manson succeeded. He was the best and still is reigning pickup artist. And he's in prison, five foot two, and he's still the best. But I'm glad you got that one, Chris, because most people are afraid to get it. Because, hey, I don't want anything that works. You know, like the old throwdown thing. You know, um, my brother told me this when he was young. My brother was a very tough guy. Still is. Guys used to go, yeah, 3 o'clock. And this is school, obviously. I'm kicking your ass. He goes, no, do it now. Uh, uh, let's talk about this. There's a way to be tough. And women like guys who are a bit tough and rough around the edges. Prove it, go to any biker bar, any social club, any of the tough bars. You see women throwing themselves at men. Go to the other places, guys are standing there against the wall. Uh, there's a girl. Uh, woo, 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 woo. If I didn't have to see an actor, would do the slapping. Yeah. Um, but guys do not know how to actually man up. Now back to the sexists in America. Guys became scared of women, scared of sexual harassment suits, scared of this, scared of that. I'll tell you something. People die in car accidents. People die from smoking. I'll admit that. People die from sugar. So they have you in, in this kid fear zone that anything you do, or oh, you can get into trouble. And that is true. But the biggest trouble you can get into is doing absolutely fucking nothing. 
They tell me, oh, you shouldn't say Merry Christmas. Fuck that. Hey, everybody, Merry Christmas. Yeah. And the fact that in Texas, they have decided to allow people to say Merry Christmas shows you how controlled we are. They have decided to let you exercise your freedom of speech for two days. Wow, aren't we so blessed? Oh, lots of good questions. I hope. Alpha Power. All right. Hi, Gary. You, me, and a lot of other men, this time I mean men, deal with a lot of these beta jerk off PC Finocchios. <laughs> now, whenever I deal with one, I usually pause for a couple of seconds and endure the voice. In the true Scarface fashion, I would tell them, fuck you. It's therapeutic. <laughs> Also, I've started to become a bigger prick when San Finocchio just stares at me. I started saying, what? You want something? No. Then fuck off. It takes balls to deal with the PC jerkos like this. Beautiful. Because people don't have the guts to say anything. They accept everything. You know, um... It's just really is a good feeling. Sometimes it's always saying something. Get the fuck out of my sight. Before there's a problem. You got to be careful how you threaten. But if you don't have the right look, you just get the fuck out of people. But uh, it, it is therapeutic, actually. Okay. I love Mel Brooks' movies. See, I don't need the glass tonight because I take the right supplements. Because he made fun of everyone. That celebrated our differences. Now everyone loves to offend over nothing. Nobody can say anything, even if it's in context. No, it's really true. We are controlled by the new state religion. It is called political correctness. I, you know, I used to be invited to parties, not anymore, because I'll speak my mind. I'll say to people, what do you think? And I'll tell them what I think. Like, oh, you can't think that here? What? I can't think here? Out? So here with the system. When I get invited to a party, I eat real fast, real fast. Right as soon as I get there, I had no What do you think about that? I think this world turned to a bunch of pussies. Now you can leave. Thank you. I ate. Now I'm good. But uh, it, it really has. The pussification of America is not a theory anymore. It is fact. You know, um, it, it, it's really disgusting. But yeah, the Charles Manson uh, audio, guys have gotten unbelievable results using the tactics that the guy who got the most unbelievable results used. It just seems to make sense. I don't judge. In fact, I'll talk about judgment in a second. I'll let you know. Um, judgment is a curse. Curse. Why? Because people live in fear. Greatest fear now people live in of judgment. They judge themselves or how people are react to me, how people are thinking of me. What is she going to think of me? What are you thinking of her? What if she doesn't like this? What if I don't like this about it? You start judging so much stuff, you lose yourself. Now, my thing is, this. You have a woman you should be able to talk to, laugh with, have fun with, and yes, they're going to rag you out, and that's part of being, you know, in any relationship. Most people don't even get to that point anymore. It is amazing that these days, the easiest it even has to be dating coaches. Everyone wants a guy, a guy. Not some jerk off, a guy. Not some Finocchio, a guy. You know, um, a guy who can speak like a guy, a guy who can sit, act, talk like a guy. Um, but guys don't do that anymore. 
I go to gyms and it really bothers me that there's guys there and girls there and they don't talk to each other. You know, there's just so many opening lines and opening lines do count if they deliver it with the right attitude. I, I use an opening line, I use the gym. Just, you know, quick on the mind. There was somebody, uh, Powell was in there. You know, Powell was there, the big guys come in. They had six plates on each side uh, on a barbell in the squat rack. I said to some girl, are you, are you using that? She said, boom, instant chemistry. Because it was a bold statement. And if you're a little crazy, it helps. But if you're politically correct and you're worried, oh, well, what if she sues me? What if I say the wrong thing? What if, you know, you start thinking in that voice. I'm having dreams with that voice. It's not good. You know, and then people have to be right about everything. Me, I don't give a shit. I only care about results. That's it. You know, people say, yeah, I don't want to get this question. Do you think lying to a woman is okay? I don't know, I don't talk about that much. No. If it's going to get you out of trouble, yeah. Because lying has become not only fashionable, it's the key to being success in politics. It said, yes, but that's the world today. A bunch of liars. That's why I, I, I don't watch news. I don't watch television. They lie to you until lying becomes acceptable. So actually, I am not pro-lying. But people have become so used to it that I have actually found that when I tell the truth, I get accused of lying. When I lie, they yeah, yeah, of course. But, uh, yeah, um, I can get anybody to tell you whether you have the most satanic device ever. Literally, it is so powerful, so satanic, it's called a television set. And because the media has become so politically correct and so demonic that they don't even know how to write a show with a male lead or the solid family anymore. And I don't need to see that shit. Oh, this show's going by too fast. What kind of rock star effort does Shun Guy have? Okay, that's why they call it rock stars, by the way. And I have mine right here. It's a healing stone, it attracts, and yes, everything is from crystals. This is mine right here. You hold this in your hand for about five minutes. You hold it all day, for all day. but it takes about five minutes. And everything also, hey, my back feels good, this feels good, and you start radiating positive energy. As I said, everything radiates energy. And this works. It's been proven for 3,000 years. I guess we need more proof, right? You can check it out anywhere. I'll read about it. The real stuff works. And yeah, rock stars keep this. The elite keep this. The rich people keep this. You know how I know? They buy it from me. They stick it in their chair. Um, the first day I had mine, I did a lot of research to get the right stuff. You get a lot of the wrong stuff. That's easy to get. And I, I bought a lot of the wrong stuff from the wrong suppliers before I made it available. I was just playing with it all day. I don't know if this is working. I went to the gym. I was like, treated like a rock star. And I'm benching 385 for reps, which is pretty damn good. Yeah, my usual three sets of six, I'm done. But that's the kind of, I feel like, right, is there any weight on this bar or what? It does radiate everything. The earth radiates, I forgot how many hertz. This radiates a certain amount of hertz. You're a, basically, when you walk around, what are you? Yes, you're a person, you're a man, you're a human being, but you're also a broadcast system. And people will pick up the signals. Rock, rock star. 
That's why girls go crazy at rock stars and not at Frank Sinatra, not at uh, Jerry Vale or Tony Bennett or Pavarotti. They're great singers, but people aren't throwing their underwear at them because this has that energy in it. True, it was used for, you know, what I call not pleasant purposes to you know, make rock stars larger in life, but you can use it for yourself and you will be larger in life. And all you gotta do is you don't have to hold it. I just like holding because it, it feels, you feel the energy right off it. I just keep it near me. It's got like a 25 foot range and you don't have to carry it with you. Because it's just like a cell phone. Once it's charged up, it's charged up for a couple of days. Does it work? Absolutely. It works over the phone. I put it right next to the phone. Hey, how you doing? Wow, better reaction than I ever got before. What could it be? I have spent my life researching this stuff. What makes kings kings? What makes people great great? And this we have in stock. Check this out, huh? I got a whole drawer full of these. And here's more. So if you want to get your rocks off, this stuff, yeah, I paid a lot for them. These are the rocks to get. But people don't see the value in improving themselves. You can get an expensive watch or rings. Don't do shit. When you radiate that type of sexuality, yeah. You have to, of course, want to. And the problem I have with a lot of stuff, the MK17 and stuff like that, is this. People get the stuff, and then women come up to them, and they, don't, and they start talking like fucking morons. That's why I have the audio programs, okay? Just to keep you on the safe side. Let's see, Chris, if anybody gets that Charles Manson audio at GaryBrodsky.com tonight. Because it works. Sexual scarcity in men. Now, if you notice that this week I had to read my gla read with glasses, this week I don't. Why? Iodine. You can get it anywhere. You have bad eyesight? Iodine works for me. Men are not having luck with women in no laughing matter. If male energy is not focused on productive things such as sex, etc., violence will happen more and more. Elliot Rogers is a recent example of this. Uh, please inform me, Mr. C. Um, I don't know about Elliot Rogers. I don't watch mainstream news. I really have no idea what's happening in the world. Wow, a lot of questions here. So I don't know what's happening in my world. I'm going to make my world good and make as many people happy as possible, make myself happy, and not feed the demonic spirits that want my suffering. They are going to fucking starve. Well, lawyers are no help, I gotta tell you that. I just, I don't want to, if I had to do a show on lawyers, it would have a 15 hour marathon. Here's an interesting question guys that rape. What is your opinion about guys that rape girl that, that date rape girls? I heard athletes and fat boys view it as a sport to force girls to have sex with them, but they want to gain by their strength. Raping a girl is disgusting because why would a guy want to have sex with a girl that doesn't want it? It's a humiliating act for both people. What are your thoughts, Derek? All right, Derek, thank you. I didn't know that was happening in fraternities. Rape is a sign of immaturity, uh, a sign of powerlessness, a sign of a guy that... that it's a fucking crime, okay? And it should be a crime. But uh, now, for lack of social skills, and I know what you're talking about, guys don't have any other means of expressing it. They feel powerless, and yes, some of them do become rapists. That is my answer for them. You know, and it, it, it's just disgusting. And it's not a rape culture out there. Losers rape. It's just like losers, you know, rob banks. They don't go into business. They don't take chances. You know, and, and now I actually think it's different. Banks now rob you, but that's a whole other story. But, uh, no, 
deathly. Seduction, romance, the laughter, the joy, the passion. That's what we want. Not just a load, a coming. Hi. One of the reasons I believe in a higher power is because every man I respect does. Not alone can be wrong if they all believe in the same thing. I try not to judge other people. Why? Because that's God's job. Exactly. Frankly, why am I leaving up to God and letting him do it? It's God's job. Exactly. Judgment is mine, saith the Lord. And when you start judging, you will be judged by the same standards you apply. Gary, how many cigars does it take to get a house? Uh, or $50,000. Thanks, Jason. One cigar with the right state of mind. I know what he's talking about. And I'll give you an example for those of you who want to know. This is not a cigar, this is a cigarette, but it still smokes like a cigar. And I'll show you. I can light a cigarette and smoke, which I do like 5,000 times a day. Not the same cigarette. Just those weak minded people. I like the cigarette for better health. I know it sounds a little contradictory. I let the smoke bring me better health. Hey, burnt offerings have been around in every culture. Doesn't tell you what to burn. But I allow the smoke now to bring me stuff. As I smoke some offering the smoke to the good to the good spirits to bring me good things. All spirits take offerings. I don't know who's going to get this smoke, but I asked only good spirits, so something good is going to happen. We're just going to drop that of a heart attack right now. Not going to happen. Why? I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in doctors. I don't believe in illness. I don't believe smoking is going to kill me. And what you believe you become, with force, you can't say, I don't believe it. No, I believe it. I eat it, I live it, I, that's it. Hello, Gary, what's your story about why you work out? It was inspirational, just remind me of the great Canadian strongman. He was born with club foot and severe alternating squint. He decided as a boy, he would become the strongest man. Okay, I'm going to have to repeat that story again. I was born with what they were diagnosed as muscular dystrophy. Did not walk, could not move the first three year and years and change my life. I mean, really, I could not even pick my head off a pillow. My dream was, because you know, you kids have strange dreams, to be able to walk and push the elevator buttons. That was it. That was my dreams. But my muscles hurt so much. Then one day I felt like I fell through the crib. I didn't know why I had any crib. I couldn't move, but that's not important. And that God grabbed me and threw me back into the crib. From that moment on, I was able to walk. I was able to actually even escape the crib, go outside into the hallway, and push the elevator button. It freaked the shit out of my parents. They got so scared because I was like known as a terminally ill guy about to die of muscular dystrophy. And since then, I have always worked out because, and this is a, one of my, I don't know if it's a weakness or strength, I need to have pain in the muscles. Because otherwise, I don't know why I have pain in the muscles, I get paranoid. But that's when I became very religious, age three and a half. And the results of that, I can actually walk, singing and dancing, yeah, that too. But I kept thinking, at three and a half, at three, God is going to deliver me from this. And he did. Now, uh, we're getting to Dan's question, which is always good to have him, Dan. Titled Anal Sex. You see, Dan's on the money tonight. Hey, how you doing, my good friend? Looking good, my man. Very jacked. Thanks, Dan. Look, we spoke about this sex last week, it being satanic. Now, a friend and I were talking about today how some girls supposedly really love it, and even girls who are religious too. 
They do it because instead of losing their virginity, being just owned by their families, they ask us to put it in their butts. <laughs> Sorry, Dan, I got to read the way you write it. But with that being said, I'm not very interested in doing anal sex. But can you sin a few times in these situations? I don't know. I, I know I have, okay? All right, <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I sinned going in blind. And then, you know, when I read about, you know, God hates the sun, I just like that. Remember, God forgives. So, maybe that would help. Of course, you know, we're men. Our flesh is very weak. I don't know if I could resist. It's like that was the only alternative. It's like, hmm. yeah. oh, what the hell? You know, but then, well, you know, I'll ask forgiveness. That's me. And I have them. Thank you, Lonnie. Uh, how long would it take to get MCA-17 to London, England? It would take four days. We send it out as quickly as possible. We have two left in stock. And for those who want to see it, I will show it. For those who want to see it, cover your eyes. This might not be suitable for young people. This is a bottle that works. This is my bottle. Don't drink it. Just put it right on the pulse of your neck. It'll pulse it out. So it'll be there within three or four days. But don't wait till we run out of it, because this is actually blended by people who blend it. We call them blenders. And it really takes a lot of work. And these are really effective. And you know, I put a whole bunch on the other day, went to the gym, no women there. No one, one fat old woman came following me all around. It's going to attract all women. It's like the super fisherman's guy. It'll attract all fish, all women. So make sure you go in the right place. But it was fun to test it. So yeah, please order it and I'll make sure you get it uh, express. Because I know you, yeah. I know your name. Okay. Derek, how are you? When a woman has menopause, does having sex become a problem? Like she will not want sex or she looks unattractive to the guys because she's passed her birth in years. No. In fact, some of them even better. I ask because I'm cons concerned if I get married, I'll not be sexually attracted to my wife when she gets older. <laughs> Don't worry. If you get married, you won't be sexually attracted to your wife when she's younger. Just kidding. No. It, no, it has nothing to do with that. Because hopefully you're going to age too. If you don't age, let me know the secret. Dan is here again. I know an occult master, yet notice he, you've never touched on voodoo. Do voodoo dolls actually work? I do voodoo. Actually, Santeria, Kimbanda, voodoo is included. And the voodoo dolls work if they're done right, guaranteed. There was a guy, a doctor, not a medical doctor, a research doctor, digging up voodoo dolls buried in coffins in Mexico. And they put the people's names in there. And I have to have a show and tell people how to do this because I don't want this publicly going out there. But it's not hard to do. And if you have an enemy, you just bury them. And what he found was that everybody buried was either dying or already dead. And he unearthed them, and he got a voodoo doctor in there, a voodoo priest called a hugan, and uh, a medical doctor treating people that were dying. So yeah, they do work. And voodoo, I, yeah, I do practice voodoo. And people always say, hey, let me hear that voodoo that you do so well. Boom! Do you think Lot really knew he was having sex with his daughters in the Bible? It's creepy. Whenever I'm drunk off my ass, I still know who I'm having sex with. Thanks. I think the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, has changed a lot over the years.
But if you're looking for Sodom and Gomorrah, it's called Hollywood right now. Excuse me, I'll take a soda break. And by the way, this is a voodoo uh, song I play here. Now also, outside of voodoo, there's something called Palo Mayumbe. You might want to look that up. Palo Mayumbe is like voodoo on steroids. They are ready, which means I must smoke. And they offer the smoke for even better health, because I want to feel great. It's If you don't feel great, Everything looks like shit. And one secret to feeling great, outside of offering the cigarette to feel great, the best way, better than cigarettes, better than cigars, to feel great is making other people feel great, expecting nothing back in return. Hey, <laughs> that comes from God, not me. If you don't feel good, if you're not in a good mood, that happens to everybody. Start calling people up and telling you nice things about them. Truthful nice things. And all of a sudden you're going to be in a great mood and you're not going to know how. It's the best antidepressant I know. Or you can take the prescribed antidepressant and sit there like this. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, dream now. You know who these people are. Yep, that's all I do is three sets of six bench press, three sets of six curls, three sets of eight on the triceps. I think it works. I'm not wearing you know. it. I don't have a size for me now. This is XXL. My pants are, well, sweatpants are very large. Do you know how much trouble it is to get sweatsuits? I have a trick for that, but I can't talk about it here because Amazon will see the shell. You know, you switch the tags around. You know. But, uh, yeah, because a jacket fits great and the pants, like, you know, like I'm in the fucking circus. How does the wealth success talisman work? Very simple. Look up King Solomon. All his wealth, all his power, possibly the richest man that ever lived, did it with talismans. I have one in the drawer, but I don't know where it is. There's a lot. Yeah, I have a screwdriver in there, my flashlight, my mini flashlight, gifts I never sent out from last Christmas. Let's see if I can find a talisman in here. No, but I found my lucky, uh, <laughs> my lucky charms. <laughs> A paper. A piece of carbon paper. This chalk that I've seen in this time. It came with a draw. I have a talisman in here somewhere. A battery. I'm not kidding. One of those drawers. No, I do have talismans in there. They work. I need a talisman to help me find talismans. That's what I need. Candelombe. So voodoo does work. What do you know about candelombe? Lemon jar. Does that work too? Absolutely. It's just the uh, Brazilian word for it. It's it's has so many words. It's uh, really interesting if you get into it. Magic has been practiced three to five thousand years before the Bible was written. In every culture, that was gigantic. Egypt, Samaria, Rome. Why? It works. And it is not forbidden in the Bible. What is forbidden in the Bible is sorcery. Coming from the word pharmakeia, 
which means making medication that fucks up people's mind. If you don't think it's part of the Red Sea is magic, and actually I did a little research on that. It wasn't that Moses part of the Red Sea that was a big deal. Because in order for them to get those rocks over there for the pyramid, they must have part of that thing like like daily. But the fact that he closed it on the Egyptian army was the big miracle. Jason, good evening. Like your last name. Gary, love tonight's show. Thank you. Okay, so now, so I'm finding this occult stuff very interesting. Never done any before, but hey, I know you only do things which work. Are there any year end occult rituals I can use to make 2015 a great and fantastic year for me? The occult doesn't work by years. If you did it today, it's going to work for you today. If you do it on New Year's, it's going to work for you on New Year's. It's just like getting a check for half a million dollars. Does it matter if it comes on New Year's or a week before, or a week after? As soon as you decide to do something, it will work. It doesn't go by particular dates. The occult is just a practice. See, people fight themselves all the time. That's why New Year's resolutions are never kept. Mine are. Here's my New Year's resolutions. I will keep smoking. I will keep drinking soda. Yeah. Make sure I'll definitely keep those. And why do you need a New Year for resolution anyway? You can make a resolution anytime you want. And what do people do on New Year's? They get drunk and throw up all over themselves. Why? Where the fuck did that come in? Well, I'm against alcohol, believe it or not. I'm not against buying a girl a drink, but I am against drinking myself. Bad breath. This should be a good one. If a girl has sort of morning breath, when you kiss her, what do you do? You push her fucking head down. What do you think? Hey, hey okay. Dance with me on this. Will you tell her the breast stinks or you just give her a gum? <laughs> I just got to laugh. I'll tell you why. I just pictured this scenario in my head. You're in bed with this girl. She comes over and kisses you and go, Trident? Um, very simple. Have water next to your bed. Water actually kills bad breath. You say, hey, have some water. Why? Your breath stinks. You know, just like, yeah, I'll do it in a funny way. Because she'll become so self-conscious. She'll be goggling. So, um. That was good. Okay. Hold on. Wow, you know, the most beautiful women send me pictures. This is amazing. You are gorgeous. And guess what she's doing? She's watching the Gary Brodsky show. She thinks I'm cute. Okay, so we established one thing. She's gorgeous and she needs glasses. How to make a woman happy instantly. Everybody be quiet for this one. Hello, Gary. Hi. Oh, wrong, Chris. There's an epidemic of men in relationships trying to make women happy. A topic you've joked about in the past. The problem is the scarcity mindset of a lot of guys where they will do anything in the world to be with a girl. Even means flushing their dignity down the fucking toilet. I put the word fucking in there, by the way. Elliot Rogers was a young man who shot and killed young men and women. He posted uh, videos detailing his lack of luck with the ladies and his resentment. Now remember, you know, it's tragic. That they don't teach guys anywhere, not in school, to be guys, they teach guys to be pussies in school. You can't say bad words, you can't do this. Guys don't, you know, 
the average mentality, as I said today, of an, when we were 17 in 1985, if you were 17 back then, is what a 31 year old has today. Guys don't want responsibility. Guys don't want anything that has to do with any risk factor. That's why I sit like this watching porno, which, by the way, will fucking will destroy your mind. All right, Dan is hitting again. Hi, Gary. With all the bullshit of Cialis, Viagra, ED going around, does age really matter? As long as you're in shape and have a lot of testosterone, can you and Charlie go all day and night? Also, is it more mental? Because you say that you know guys with stomachs five feet from them, still rock hard in bed. Thus, if you tell yourself you can shag all... Oh, absolutely, it, it is all mental. Most diseases are mental. I believe all diseases come from the way you think, and I got a couple of problems myself. Why? It's the way I think. And I, I just change that, and that's it. The horse? Okay. What is the horse? There is no description. <laughs> It's an inside joke. And I <laughs> don't don't take the horse seriously. Um, it's what I call people. Okay, these guys that have that look on their face that can't meet women. They know everything, but they're afraid of women. They don't ever socialize. They don't know how to talk. They don't know how to speak. They're afraid of any social interaction, I call them horses, okay? And it's become sort of a joke. Because I call one of my sons the horse. Because like, he's, he's a horse. Um, he can pick up 900 pounds deadlift. He can't pick up a girl. Why? Guy's a horse. But he's, he's gotten a lot better, actually. Um, he started renting. And now he's a happy guy. But he's still going to be the horse no matter what he does. But there was a while he wasn't socializing. Now he's okay. Yeah, he works construction. A uh, union delegate. Okay. Uh, had to pull a few strings to get that one in there. <laughs> this girl doesn't stop hitting on me. I'll get to you after the show, okay? That's my life. I don't apologize. Wow, the show is going fast. Dan's cooking up a little even, even, even sicker questions as we go along here. Okay. Ah, oh, last and final call for questions. Wow, this show should buy. Hey, Dan. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you something. Dan is a male model. Good looking guy in great shape. Great voice. And... He has noticed that unless you're alpha, looks don't count. I was looking at Susan. Hey, that's Dan wearing a suit in this magazine. Maybe I should get it. So he actually helps uh, host the show sometimes, maybe Wednesday, because, man, that show gets hit. But every, it's like Pinocchio uh, news. Guy wants to come out with insults, cracks. That's so sick. To so salute everybody. Ah, good question. Using the phrase, I think. Thanks for pointing out how weak that phrase is. It sounds ridiculous to say, like, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger is strong, or, or I think the sun is hot. It really is stupid to tell a girl, I think you are beautiful, versus you are one smoking honey. Absolutely true. And let me just repeat that for everybody else. When you say to a girl, wow, I think you look great. You think that's a compliment, right? You're wrong. When you say, I think, it means you have not made up your mind yet. You think, well, it is a weak comment. And I'll tell you another really weak word. Of course, I light up a cigarette. Then I tell words. I mean, like the smoke. Smoke good. Um, uh, 
I was going to do a webinar on words, but apparently nobody wanted to show up to that one. But one of the weakest words in the English language, and I probably use it too much, is and. And if you slowly go, I said, I set myself up for that one. If you saw the Godfather, if you remember, Salazzo walks in, he goes, I need a million dollars in cash. I need those politicians you carry in your pocket like so many million nickels and dimes. I need protection from the police. Powerful statement. He needs to go, now think of how weak this would sound. I need protection from the police and I need those politicians you carry around like so many nickels and dimes and I need a million dollars in cash. It sounds weak, and is one of the weakest words around. So, if you want to appear strong, the word and, if you think about it, is weak. You're beautiful, and you smile, and you and you, it just becomes, and you start talking in that voice. Dan, you've won the contest, you were there last week. You do the best impersonation, but of course you're an actor of the voice out there. Yours is shipped, Dan. Friday. Gary, I decided to watch television, and after years of not watching it, and everything it was on was so bad and stupid and pointless and dangerous. That's the big point, dangerous. That it programs the wrong message out to people. I will never watch it again. Thanks. Oh, to me, TV is poison. Soda, cigarettes, hey, I can deal with that. Television, I can't. Every show is an emasculating, castrating show uh, showing society. Yeah, old movies are great. It's like, what planet is this from? The guy is actually in control? What the fuck? This is another planet. They speak like men. They act like men. Now... Every guy is shown as a complete, total idiot. Don't buy into the propaganda. Don't go out there with the uh, idea, I'm going to pick up a girl. Go out with the idea, I live, I conquer, I win. You can get anything. There's nothing in life you cannot get. The most important thing is believe you already have it. And that's on Act As If. How to Act As If has changed more lives than any other audio program I have. And I know you have it. I sent it to you tonight. Yes, to the question about the uh, water ritual. Water is so powerful. All you have to do is show water. You can make water do anything for you. You know why? You're mostly made up of water. Okay, I'm going to end the show on a joke. So I'm studying martial arts. And the guy says to me, be like water. So I pissed on him. Okay, bad joke, but what the hell. All right, I'm going to warm around for questions. Because this show just flew by. I don't know why. I have no idea what to call it. Any suggestions? I can't click this button here for advanced options. Which means it takes me six months to figure out how to use it. Okay. Going once. Going twice. Questions will have to wait till next week. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will be back. And if you try to get me on the phone and you have not been able to, everybody across the planet has decided to call me up and report the voice. So, um, everybody, bless you all, and I will see you next week. And thank you for watching. And good night.